Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So I tend to get a lot of questions about USD or Unified Service Desk. What is it? How does it work? Those types of different situations. You know, people are wondering if it's maybe something that's applicable to their industry or to their organization, and or if it's hard to set up, what's kind of all involved with it. So some people get, you know, a little intimidated by it from, a, from an application perspective. And so I thought it might be interesting over several videos to just walk you through USD a little bit. Now, USD is absolutely not an application that I'm going to be able to teach you from top to bottom in even 10 five minute videos, but maybe at, at least the, the videos give you an opportunity to just see what it is and, and maybe see it in action in ways that you haven't necessarily had an opportunity to do so. Before I walk you through the actual application itself and, and demo everything from, from how it works, I think what I want to do first is show you how to install it and then actually walk you through some of the sample applications that they have that you can install via package deployer so you can kind of get your organization up and running and, and play with some of the samples and see how it's worked and give you some ideas on how you might be able to configure it when you're moving forward. So in today's video session we're going to go ahead and walk you through the installation and setup of some of the sample data packages for Microsoft Dynamics CRM's Unified Service Desk. So if you just do a search for Microsoft Dynamics CRM Unified Service Desk. It'll take you to the Download Center. And in the Download Center, you can go ahead and download the files that you'll need. So when you click on the Download button, there's there's basically three files that you have here. There's the, the actual Unified Service Desk application itself in both a 64-bit and a 32-bit. So you just grab the one that you need. And then there's also the USD Package Deployer, which is what you can use to deploy some sample packages or some baseline solutions, basically just to get you started. So you kind of see how the application is kind of rendered and give you some ideas from a development standpoint how you might create and, and package the application and work with it from there. So you're going to basically need to pick the two options that you want from a installation package and then just go ahead and download them. So then you're ready to go ahead and do the install. And the install is pretty straightforward. You'll obviously just go ahead and open up the installer, extract your files to a location that you can go ahead and use. So I'll just go ahead and pick a folder that I set up here. And then it'll walk you through the installation process, which is pretty straightforward. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit next. I will choose to accept the license agreement. Pass through kind of my uh, uh, user organization information. Then it's going to go ahead and do a prereqs check. And basically, you just need to make sure that you have the .NET 452 framework installed, as well as Windows Identity Foundation. Um, if you don't, it's not going to let you move forward with the installation. And just kind of a side note, if you're going to do any you know, development against USD, you also have to have uh, Windows Identity Foundation in order to do development on the machine that you're working with. So you'll want to have that, obviously, just to make it work because you, you need that in order to run the application. Then you'll go ahead and pick where you want to install it. It's going to default to CRM USD USD. Just keep in mind or make a note of this because when we talk about some of the package deployer stuff, there's actually um, some files that you will have to copy to this directory at some point. So we'll talk just a little bit about that. So it's important if you do pick a different location just to kind of keep that in the back of your head. Then I'll go ahead and hit install. So once the install is complete, now I can go ahead and configure my sample data in order for me to work with the application. And so to do that, I'm going to just go ahead and run the installer. Just like any situation, it's going to ask me to extract the files. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll accept the licensing agreement. I'll then pick where I want to extract the files to. So once everything's extracted, now I'm ready to go ahead and, and run through the, the package deployer install. So I'll go ahead and hit continue. And then I'll connect to my environment. So whether it's a Office 365 environment, on-premise environment, it just uses CRM standard connection manager to connect to those. So in this case, I've already got an environment set up. So I'll go ahead and hit log in. And this will just connect me to that environment so I can actually deploy the needed customizations in order for me to use the uh, USD components within my, within my target organization. So what happens at this point is now I have different sample import packages that I can choose with. Uh, the base package is really that's what it is. It's just the kind of the base 
information um, as far as what you're going to use. It's got some baseline customizations. It's really just designed to let you see how USD works and some of the core components that are going to make up a typical USD configuration for a customer service based situation. When you start talking about the two with the Unified Service Desk um, SP package as well as the Unified Service Desk um, 2013 with product updates, the main difference here is the product updates is going to have all the service information that was released as part of the spring update for 2013. So that's going to have things like entitlements and SLA and all the different customer service type situations that were in there. So if your organization is a 2015 environment that has all of the product updates or basically is running the service module with entitlements and service level agreements, then this is the one that you're going to use. So basically any 2015 environment, this would be the one that you would use. The important thing to note is depending upon the one that you do pick, make sure that that is what's installed in your environment. If you install the product updates and you're using 2013 and you don't have that, you will get errors when you actually try to load that functionality into the application. You also have Unified Service Desk. That's just a very baseline install again that allows and, and shows you how to connect to a U, um, to a Parature type situation. So you have a Parature environment that you can work with. But again, you would already have to have a Parature environment set up and configured and working with the connection to Microsoft CRM already established in order for this to work if you were gonna use the, the Parature option. For our purposes, we'll go ahead and just use the product updates. We'll go ahead and hit next. Then it'll walk you through the, the installation. So we'll go ahead and hit next. It'll ask you what organization you want to send the information to. So we'll go ahead and hit next on this. So once your information is done and it's imported all the solutions and added that information in, then you can go ahead and continue on with the installation wizard. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Now, if you installed the uh, CRM SP1 or CRM SP1 with product updates, then there's some additional files that need to be copied into your installation directory. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, you've got a couple of options here. One option, which is kind of what Microsoft recommends doing, is to basically just copy this information to a folder and then take the contents of that folder and copy it into your installation directory at a later time before you launch the application. Or what I usually do um, and have never had any issues with it is to just go ahead and point to the installation directory that I have the information. So in this case, I'll go ahead and point to the install directory for USD. And then it'll have a file name called do not change me and make sure you don't change that. So just go ahead and hit save at this point. And then any uh, additional files that basically need to be copied in order for this to work will be copied to that directory. So now I can go ahead and hit next. This is the part that is going to take quite a bit of time. So this will take a little bit of time to actually load the information in. Again, you'd be looking at, you know, a fair amount of time, but anywhere between, you know, 15 minutes to half hour, 45 minutes, depending upon. So now that all of our solutions have been imported and all of the sample data has been imported, we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and hit next and finish the install. And you now have a working instance of USD that has been tied to your current CRM instance. So that's installation of the USD client as well as how to deploy these solutions into your CRM organization. In a future video, we'll show you how to actually go ahead and consume some of that using USD and then build off of that while showing you some of the customization topics and items that are available. So I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you soon. So again, this is Derek for CRM Tip of the Day. Thanks a lot and have a good one.